when you look at the Somali culture, they call us the nation of poets and also art is a big part of the Somali culture. So kind of knowing my history and knowing my culture, it kind of has inspired me to take graphic design as a way of expressing myself and as a way of just giving back to the community as well. By day, I'm a public servant. I work for the New South Wales Community Relations Commission and by night and weekends, um, I'm a part owner of Flashpoint Graphics. Um, and also do work as a volunteer at the Horn of Africa Relief and Development Agency and also I am a chair of their youth sector. Myself and my family left Somalia in uh, 1993. There was a civil war which is still happening till today in Somalia and we stayed about a year and a half um, in a refugee camp in Kenya um, and through a an humanitarian visa we were able to luckily enough uh, arrive to Australia in 1993. My family and my parents quite a lot of time do uh, talk about the golden days of Somalia and to kind of look at photos now on Google or um, on YouTube, yeah, it's quite amazing and I can definitely say we've left a lot behind. We're a young um, graphic design studio uh, and we're quite unique. Um, my business partner is 25 years old, I'm 21 and most of our employees are the age, under the age of 25. So as a young group we're able to provide a fresh uh, kind of new style of uh, design um, and we all, most of us are from a refugee background so we do have our own stories uh, to share as well. One of the things that really motivates me uh, in the creative and design space uh, is using film as a medium to express uh, people's stories um, that t don't tend to have a voice. Recently I went back to Kenya, so I went down, recorded a short documentary in, in, uh, in Kenya at the Dub, which is the world's, world's largest refugee camp. Um, it was a really emotional trip, uh, it took a lot out of me, <laughs> uh, but I learnt a lot. Uh, and I encountered countless stories of hardship, of courage. Uh, I am the chairman of the Horn of Africa Youth Association. Uh, we advocate for young Africans through our annual conference, um, through sports, through soccer. One of the things that we were successful in doing, we launched a report called Our Voices United African Youth Speak, which kind of goes over the issues facing young Africans here in Australia, uh, the settlement issues, accessing employment, um, you know, dealing with uh, law enforcement agencies. So that's one way we kind of advocate um, and give back to our community. I really do hope that through the work that I do, through my design, uh, through the volunteer work that I do as well, that it will inspire um, and also motivate young people and to kind of say, look, if he can do it, I can do it.